pepper, eight heaping teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, two cups of milk, and a half cup of shortening. All right, for a trick for the shortening, and ignore the dirty dishes. We've been homeschooling for the last two weeks, being on quarantine. We just rinse out the cup and dump the water out. So by the time you put the shortening in, it's slippery and it'll slide out faster. So actually, oh, we only need a half cup, so I'm gonna pull out a half cup. And we're gonna start over again. Okay, put water in there, and then my assistant, Nora, will help me take it out. Here, you got it. Oh, scoop it out that way and dump it in. Okay, right, so make sure all of that is out of your half a cup. Next, oh, so we actually scooped the Crisco or the shortening and put it in there. You actually just want to set it aside because right now what you want to do is sift the dry ingredients and cut in the shortening. So, okay, eight heaping spoons of teaspoons of baking powder. So Nora, if you can dump those in. One, two, oh, and I was leveling these off, but you want it three. Heaping, you got that? Four, count a little louder. Five, six, seven, I'm getting you three, 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 eight. 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 Okay. Okay, next two teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna dump this in. Yeah. One. It's always good to count out loud so you don't yeah. forget, especially when you have kids around and you're not thinking clearly while you're doing this when they're awake. Two. Two. Okay. Two teaspoons of sugar. <laughs> okay, one. One. And two. two. All right. Okay. And okay. Two cups of milk. Here is a little secret. We are hoarding about 10 gallons of milk right now because we never know when we're going to be able to get more at the store with everything going on. So two cups of milk. This expired on St. Patrick's Day. So it's been what? What's today? The 20th. So 10 days, but it's okay because Sour milk and biscuits is really good. So what we do, we just save this and I write on here, use for biscuits. If I don't write that, sometimes people have come along and they take a, a drink of it and it's, it's terrible. So two cups of sour milk. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, okay, first we have to, I haven't done this in a while. We've got to mix in the dry ingredients, okay? And we've got to put the flour in mix, actually. So let me know the knife down here. Okay, so we're going to do four cups of all-purpose flour, and you want to make sure that you level it off. The heaping part is for baking powder, and then you want to level it off for the flour. So one, dump it all in. Okay. Two, I like to use a knife. To level it off. This is two. Three. There's something about these baking powder biscuits that takes me back to when my grandma used to make them, who lived in Florida. And she would come out here and my mom started making them. And it's just amazing sometimes that you have this comfort food that when you're, especially now when you're quarantined, you just want to eat stuff that has good memories connected to it. Okay, so now Nora's going to mix it all together and sift the dry ingredients together. Oh, so next you are going to cut in the shortening. So here's the shortening, and if you have one of these, take this tool, and we're going to cut in the shortening. So you drop the half cup in if you so then you're going to cut in the shortening, and then next you are going to pour in the milk. Go really slowly.
their hair and then they touch the food and it drives you crazy so but for right now I'm going to wash my hands again after I start kneading all of this because we're gonna have to clear this out of the way and we're gonna start rolling out the, the biscuit dough Cut, cutter? A cuppy cutter. And these, I think I rolled these out just a little too thin, so we aren't going to cut some. And we'll do some that are, oops, there we go. We'll do some that are a little thicker. This makes about two dozen, give or take. And then you just put them on here. Oops, this one's going to stuck. Oops. No. Oh, no. I lost that one. Okay. You want to cut away. No. Get this out. Actually, I'll put. You do about 12 on a pan. These are a little thinner than I like to make them. But it's okay. You can do whatever thickness you want. Something about being quarantined is that. Uh, it's no longer about the fresh and 15, it's all about the COVID 19. And I read that it's a good idea to put on your jeans at least once a week while you're home so you know how you're doing. And I'm wearing jeans today, so that's why I felt like I could make this good. Now, if you leave them on the whole couple weeks, they just stretch with you, though, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or unless you get J jeans and they're always stretchy. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So. Here, don't pull any. All right, so we're gonna do this again. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. This time we can roll them out maybe just not as thin so we can see how these ones turn out. So if you wanna do some like that, I'll do some like this. When it's a little thicker, it's a little easier.
So if you have gas, you should wait longer. <laughs> oh, okay.